saw a great huge star. I had witnesses such as my husband and my son. We all saw it this morning at, it was around five o'clock in the morning, that the star appeared in the sky. It was larger than a full moon, as the moon was out in a three-quarter position. It was located about that to the north of the star. There was another star out, and there were so many stars out for number you couldn't count them. It was as if they were the sands of the seashore. As my son and I were driving north up I-75 toward Marquette, the great huge star disappeared, and we marveled. We thought perhaps Hank had made a turn in the road, and no, he's, he claimed up and down that the road was straight, so we thought it must have been the time of day that God turned off the stars. Well, suddenly, as we were about to give up looking for it, it reappeared. It was the same size, the same intensity, and in the same position, in a southwest position from the, the star. And it seemed to be pulsating, as if like in a heartbeat. It was, it was just throbbing. And it was like giving me a signal to pick up the Bible in the car seat next to me. When I picked up the Bible, it opened to Luke 21. I would like to share that story with you now. When I picked up the Bible in the front seat of the car, immediately the Holy Spirit came upon me and the Bible opened to Luke 21. These are the words I began to read excessively fast as if they were electrical. The words were just, just I was just devouring them faster and faster, harder and harder. The, it was like a compulsion. The Holy Spirit was moving on me so hard and so rapidly I could scarcely catch my breath. But these are the words that I read and it says, Take heed that you be not deceived, for many shall come in my name, saying, I am Christ, and the time draweth near. Go ye not therefore after them, but when ye shall hear of wars and commotions, be not terrified, for these things must first come to pass, but the end is not by and by. Then he said unto them, Nation shall rise against nation, and kingdom against kingdom. The great er and earth and great earthquakes shall be in divers places, and famines and pestilences and fearful sights and great signs shall there be from heaven, from heaven. But before all these, they shall lay their hands on you and persecute you, delivering you up to the synagogues and into prisons, being brought before kings and rulers for my name's sake. And it shall turn to you for a testimony Settle it, therefore, in your hearts, not to meditate before what you shall answer. For I will give you a mouth and wisdom, which all your adversaries shall not be able to gainsay nor resist. And ye shall be betrayed both by parents and brethren and kinfolk and friends, and some of you shall they cause to be put to death. And ye shall be hated of all men, for my name's sake. But there shall not a hair of your head perish, and your patience possess ye your souls. And when you shall see Jerusalem compassed with armies, then know that the desolation thereof is nigh. Then let them which are in Judea flee to the mountains, and let them which are in the midst of it depart out, and let not them that are in the midst the enter into their countries. But dearly beloved, I began to not only read those words so fast and so hard, I understood even while I was reading them faster and faster and harder and harder. It was like I couldn't read them fast enough. And I understood these things were going to happen to me. I was going to be a witness of the Lord that these words as are written here are the truth. And after we return home from our a trip to Marquette. I had a phone call from the church. They wanted to know why I wasn't helping teach catechism. After all, I had put seven children through their church, and why wasn't I helping? Well, here it began some of the persecutions, and some terrible things happened that never should really happen. When you say you're a Christian and walking in love, 
these things aren't supposed to be happening, but they do. And I am a witness that the word of the Lord here is true. But this is why he gave me that great huge star. It was a sign from heaven telling me that Jesus is coming soon, but before he comes, these things would happen, and that I was his witness. And already I have witnessed much of these scriptures as having come to pass in my life since 1977. The story is a long one, and I don't have that much time to elaborate in the details. And um, I thank you, and I hope that this has blessed you.